guys so coming back to you today with another video and this is actually going to be off a Shea Moisture Shea Moisture Lip Crayons. I was actually able to go to Ross the other day and they literally had all four of these in a pack for like $4.99 or $5.99 and as you know Shea Moisture literally I want to say their lip crayons are like anywhere between $7 and $10 or something like that. I honestly don't remember off the top of my head but literally to get all of them for less than what they normally cost I was like oh I'm definitely going to try these because I've seen them but actually my target doesn't sell them close to me so yeah i have to go to another one and it's actually out the way for where i have to go so sorry my mirror is like over on the side which is what i'm looking but we're gonna start off and i'm gonna go through the colors these are the colors i got bronzy colors it's like a dark bronzy a goldish bronzy a red and a pink and as i go through and swatch them so that you can see it i'll actually let you know what the name of the color is and then we'll go from there so starting off today, the first color that I'm going to use today, which I've been dying to try, I haven't tried it, I've worn literally like one of these, well twice, two. And literally these are really good, like when I tell you they're moisturizing, like it feels good on my lips, my lips aren't tired, which is amazing, and like you can't go wrong with it. So to start off, I'm going to do this one and... That is beautiful. That's a nice mocha color, like... With a little shimmer, it's kind of nudie, which is kind of cool. I love it. This is the first color, and this is called Olivia. Olivia is serving me life right now, so yes. Next color I'm going to go in and try for you is Christine. Christine is a bronzy, like, coppery color. I actually wore this before, and literally, if I had wipes in my car to take it off, it would have came off, because I don't fancy it. I feel like for a woman of color... Or my complexion it's not as nice it looks okay here but I feel like with the liner this would look nicer it's not something that I'm like oh my gosh crazy for it actually looks kind of glossy here but in person it looks a little off to me so this isn't my favorite color for them but I'm definitely gonna try it or actually to put it over another color I think this would bring it out to make it more metallic -y. metallic -y. Ooh, I made up a word Next color that I'm trying on today is actually going to be um, Roberta. Roberta is a pink. If I wear this, it's going to be with a liner because looking at it, it's serious. <laughs> I actually really like how it looks on my bottom lip. On my bottom lip, I'm loving it. My top lip is darker, so I don't like it as much. With a liner, I think it would be nice. More than likely, I'll put foundation on my lips to kind of mute out my tone on my lips and then put this on. But on the bottom, I love it. And I think once I put actual liner on, it's going to look a lot better on the top. So it is in bad color. Not my favorite. But I think it looks beautiful. The last color that I'm trying on today is going to be Kaylin. And this is a red and like... I don't feel like you can go wrong with reds. And it's strong enough that I can wear it alone. And it still looks nice. It actually looks like it has a pink undertone, a little pink to it. So this honestly is my favorite color. I wear this just like it. It kind of reminds me of gloss, like the way it sits on your lips. I'm telling you, it's like amazing. So if you've been thinking about trying this out, I think this is great. It is actually, as it goes up, you just roll it out. It's a tube. But this is one of the colors I think you should definitely try, like my favorite out of all of them. This and that brown that looks kind of nudie. Those are the colors. But I just want to share those with you today. So if you've been wondering about it or curious and you need something like every day that's quick, easy to put on and that's going to be moisturizing and not have to worry about drying your lips out. Like I don't even have to put lip balm on before this because it does everything for this. So this is what I was sharing with you today. My favorite, Kaylin. And thank you for taking the time out to watch. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll be coming back to you again shortly, loves. Have a good one.